Hello everyone, I am Jeff with Mastercool and we're going to do a short demo on the 55900. This is the SA approved electronic leak detector for all refrigerants including 134A and 1234YF. The first thing you need to know is that this is a heated sensor leak detector. So when you first turn it on, it's going to take about 20 seconds for the unit to warm up. You'll actually see the LED start counting down till you get to the ready light. Once that becomes illuminated, the unit will start to beep. And now it's actually ready to start detecting refrigerant. You can notice on the back that you're going to see the different SAE certifications for 134A, uh, a separate certification for 1234YF, and then an EN certification for the general all purpose of all different refrigerants. Now, when the ready light is illuminated and you hear the unit beeping, it is now ready to detect any refrigerant. On the faceplate, you're going to see HR, which is high range. That is designated for when you're working with 1234YF. Then you'll see low range. That is when you're working with any other refrigerant. You have an interference weight light. That is when a leak detector recognizes something, but it's not a refrigerant. That will become illuminated and the unit will take two or three seconds to recalibrate itself. Only when the ready light is illuminated and you hear the beeping is the unit actually searching for a refrigerant leak. And last we have CA, which means contaminated atmosphere. That is in case the unit ever comes in contact with a very large leak of refrigerant, it recognizes it as a contaminated atmosphere. It'll take a few seconds to actually just recalibrate itself. Again, once the ready light is beeping, it's now going to go and actively search for a refrigerant leak. On the keypad, you have a volume button where you can simply turn the volume up or down or actually mute it. You have a high, medium, and low range, which changes the color of the LEDs, signifying what range you're actually in. And then we have a peak button. And the peak button is used when you have several different leaks. It'll actually keep one of these LEDs illuminated, telling you how large that leak was while you actively search for another leak. All the units come with a leak vial. This is for demonstrating the electronic leak detector. So all you're gonna do is take the cap off. Take the cap, there's some residual gas that's in there. Take it to the tip and you're gonna see the unit go off. Now that's a rather large leak because all of the LEDs became illuminated. Uh, the interference light up and now it's just going to clear itself. So it usually takes a couple of seconds when the ready light is illuminated and it's beeping, now it's ready to find a leak. So again, just take the cap to the tip, the unit will go off, tells you how large the leak is, and then it clears. Once it starts beeping again, it's ready to look for another leak. If the tip ever becomes clogged, the unit won't go off. You'll see the weight interference light light up. That's just telling the, the sensor and the microprocessor that the sensor actually detected something but it's not a refrigerant so the unit won't go off it takes a couple seconds to clear and now we have the ready light illuminated and we can actually start looking for a refrigerant leak if you ever get into a high moisture area the unit doesn't go off again the interference weight light will just become illuminated it'll take a few seconds once the ready light is on and the unit's beeping it is ready to look for a refrigerant leak